yet more playoff heartbreak in the last episode, but it was progress. There's no denying it. It was progress. We had the most points last season. Uh, we had the, lo- the, the longest run in the playoffs last season. And it was just a good season. Just a good season. We need a great season. And it needs to be this one. We cannot be in the Series C for the year after next. We just can't. We've got to get promoted. And now, this is it. We start today. Right, so here we are with the season review pages. Um, We can see here there are four players, Volpe, Estrella, Pellegrini and Fazio have all been chosen to be part of the illustrious history of this club. Um, I I still don't like this page. It's one of the only things about the skin I don't like. In fact, just for today, I'm going to go back to the default skin. Uh, Lots of things I love about this this Vince skin. It's very nice skin. This is one thing I don't like. For the historical page, this is what you want. You just want to see the basics. Uh, And you can see here, we've got a few players who have obviously got into the 100 club. There are more if you do it properly, because the the way that the best 11 works is very strange. It only counts seasons when they were in the season 11. So this isn't every single season of Nesta. I can tell you Nesta definitely had more than 52 appearances for us. Uh, You can see there straight away, far, far more than 52. In fact, I have no idea how they've managed to get 52 out of that. It's very strange. I've literally got no idea where 52 has come from. You can see he's had a lot more than that. I mean, even just in the league, he's had 88 appearances. So why Nesta says 52, I've got no idea. Uh, I actually think it's probably broken. Uh, It's certainly not uh, very reliable. So I keep my own statistics as far as that's concerned. But it does give you an idea uh, of the kind of career that they've had. Castelli and Pellegrini, the the top two. And those two figures there, 25 and 27, does tell you why we've not quite got promoted yet. We have failed to find the, the goal scorer. The person who can get you 25 goals in a season, not in two seasons, which is what Pellegrini did. Uh, I think it was exactly... Those, no, it's a season and a half, in fact, so it's a little bit better than it looks. But 25 goals in a season and a half, that's not ideal. We want, we want, we want more than that, really. And in terms of the league, it was 23 goals in a season and a half. Um, so we need to see improvement there. And obviously Nepi, 16 goals in 57 games, that's probably two, two full seasons, I think. Um, so we need to make sure that we, um, we find that top, top striker to really improve us, I think. That, for me, is probably the biggest priority of this uh, summer, although there are other areas that we need to improve on. Um, so that's something that is worth bearing in mind. Let's have a quick look at the season review. I haven't seen this yet. So Brigliadori is, that's weird, he's the signing of the season, and yet the, the board are at an F. And he did cost a lot of money, to be fair. But um, he scored seven goals in half a season. Average rating 7.2. For me, he's one of the best strikers I've had. Possibly the best. Um, the board are not very happy with any of these signings, are they? Goodness. Uh, and then outs-wise, there are a few Bs here. But still, they, they don't really like the way that I'm selling players. Uh, I'm transferring in general, really. I'm surprised that they're not happy with the, not much happy with the Gooch transfer, given how much he was worth. But much more than he's really worth. Why wouldn't that be an A, then? £200,000 for Gooch. That was a fantastic bit of business. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> anyway... These things happen. Um, They're looking to sell the club, which is good news. Uh, Hopefully that will happen soon because I think that would be a catalyst to really be be able to push for improvements here, uh, both in terms of the infrastructure and in terms of the playing squad. I want to get promoted next season. I want to be champions. Be realistic. We weren't that far away. Fresh arms. Don't think I'm being unrealistic at all. Right. I mean, in that case, I'm going to get rid of you all but I'm going to improve things I'm going to improve lots of things none of you are going to be there right looks like I've actually saved that a little bit some players have actually improved a few of you have gone down but uh, some have actually improved it's not a disaster I'm surprised though that they give it given how close we were this year you would think that they'd been happy they'd be happy like six points away this year it's not going to take a huge amount for us to win the league next year just a little bit of an improvement that's all um, in terms of the team report it's interesting that they've got Michelangelo Bobane there. I don't know whether that's just the same team who started in that last game. I'm not sure. Um, but there are some severe strengths here. We obviously need to cut the wage budget sl- bill slightly. Uh, well, when I say slightly, I mean quite a lot. Uh, we've got a couple of players coming in already in Siriki Sanogo and Tom- Tommaso Morosini. 
Um, Sonogo will be very, very good backup in several different positions, and that's why he's been, he's been bought. Morosini, I'm thinking, will probably be my first choice forward in midfielder next season, although with Riella coming in at plenty of time. Um, the question then becomes what we do with Shiro, and my instinct is probably sell him because he's one of the few players we can sell for a decent amount of money. Uh, what I want to do, though, is show you the comparison. So Morosini and him. Now, we obviously don't have full knowledge of him yet, but you can see there's quite a lot here that he's better than. Mentally not so good, but he's 33. He doesn't need to improve. Um, and, you know, there's, there's no massive weaknesses here. Um, obviously, physically, he's not going to be as good, but in the ball-winning midfielder role, it doesn't matter so much. And the strength is fine. That's the ball wing midfield of the way, so that's probably the only one that really matters. Um, so technically better, certainly in some positions. There are a few things, but most of the things, with the exception of his technique, he's going to be okay at everything. And in the only physical thing that matters, he is the same. So my feeling is it was, this will be a slight improvement, particularly when you, when you factor in the fact that we should be able to get some money for Shiro because he is sought after by Como. So I will be looking to get, I mean, in, in the first instance, 100,000 for him, but probably won't be that much. Uh, there are a few other players who might leave this, this summer. Gildi is, has been a brilliant player for me, and I think I probably want to hold, hold on to him. But if we were to get, you know, several hundred thousand pound bid is that, or something, which you know, sounds bizarre, but that's what I got for Rodrigo Goose anyway. Um, so if we can get something along those lines, it would be fantastic. Um, other than that, we will see. Um, Morosini and Sonogo are the only ones in so far. I'm hoping to get the Mano in, who I think would be a marginal but significant improvement uh, at right back. There's very few significant weaknesses there. And whilst he's not brilliant, he's a solid right back, which I don't think we've really got at the moment. Vitorini's the best one. And he's not far off, but there's, you can see quite a lot of white here. Um, so I think he would be an improvement, albeit not as much of an improvement as we would need in some positions. Um, and we now need to worry about our facilities as well. So that's where we are at the moment. We will obviously be coming back at various points to see um, how we're getting on in terms of the transfers. Um, so take it away, future me. But the first thing future me would like to do is to just explore a little bit of the history of the club so far. It's one of the things I want to do because um, we are building a bit of a legacy here with this brand new club. Uh, and I just thought I'd take you through a couple of my um, leading players of the save so far. Statistically, anyway. So these are the top five currently in terms of the most appearances for the club at this point. You can see Gianmarco Nesta is the only player of the five who has left so far. Uh, Gioldi and Vitorini both passing the 100 mark this season. And Paolini is in the same place that Gioldi was at the start of the season on 99. Uh, so there is a good chance that he will, I think, stay. Could could still leave, but I think there's a good chance that he will stay and hit that 100, goal, uh, 100 appearance mark. As for the goals, well... We have slightly different complexion about the goals. There are seven people who have scored 15 goals or more. I don't think anyone else has scored 10. Um, the reason I wanted to put this in really was because I think Nesta deserves a mention here, even though he's not really uh, one of the top goal scorers. You can see now that Gioldi, despite being a midfielder, has been has, is now our top goal scorer in the save. Um, I mean, obviously, that's a, a product of him being one of the longest. In fact, I think he's the only uh, player who's been here since the first season. Um, so it's not particularly surprising. Uh, but good to see Castelli and Estrella um, come, going up and moving up those ranks. Jacopo Pellegrini um, hopefully will get left behind now that he has gone. Sad to see Sassi, who was such a wonderful player for me in that first season in particular, and Nepi, who had a good second season, um, kind of eclipsed now. Uh, but we have moved on from them. It's, it's clear to see that. So that was just a little bit um, about where we are in terms of the history of the club. Hopefully we will be able to overwrite that. Some of those players will be mere memories and tiny little ones at that in a few years' time and we've got some absolute superstars playing for this club. That's the plan. Can we make it happen? Right, and now a huge amount of good news all at once. We've got a couple of players who have not necessarily not won an award but come close to winning an award in Castelli and Gioldi. And then Gioldi and Castelli both in the uh, team of the year for the... Um, division that we're in which is great news we see Gioldi and Castelli also won midfielder and striker of the year fantastic for them but this is the big one six hundred thousand pounds to help with running costs now it has halved the debt and possibly and a little bit um, which is fantastic news it's not enough but it's fantastic news the question now is can we find a way to kind of persuade either persuade them to sell the club um, 
or to get them to give me a little bit more. I had to pay a little bit of tax, but that's in the in the, in the um, context of the six hundred thousand pounds. I think we'll we'll survive that. Um, scouting we will not be doing. We'll pay for that as we go. I think we won't bother with the package. That's fine because um, we would have to pay for this one at least. And really, most most of our players are going to come from elsewhere. Certainly not from our league, so uh, that won't be done. Um, one point two two million and ten thousand of budget there. We are currently spending nearly that. So there's not a lot of room to manoeuvre. But we do get La Mana in. He's coming in as a fringe player, but that gives me a bit of room for me because I actually think he probably will start for me. But it means that if I if I want to drop him, it's kind of okay. So uh, squad building wise, that's um, a good start, I think. A uh, long, long way to go to make this this squad the kind of court squad that I want in order to really you know, push on. Quite a few of these players who are just not really going to be good enough uh, and I'll need to be looking at moving them on. Um, Basically, anyone down this end who's not really, really young needs to be looking at moving on. And that's quite a lot of them, really. All of these players, possibly even him. He had a good end of the season. and I liked, I do like the fact that he can now play on the right wing. So I think those are the ones, really, that I'm going to be significantly looking to uh, to move on. Uh, some of them are leaving anyway. You can see their, their contracts are, are out at the end of this month anyway. Uh, but if I can sell any of them for a bit, a bit of money, then that would be fantastic. I'm back with you shortly to see if we can get on any further. Right, our first three signings have come into the team. We've got Siriki Sanogo, who, as you can see, is perfectly decent backup for several different positions there. Uh, we've got Tommaso Morosini, who will probably be my first choice forward in midfielder, at least for the time being. Probably not long term, but definitely not long term. He's 33. And La Manna, uh, who I think will be my first choice right back for at least a while. Um, Monterisi has gone out. Salini has gone out. Celli has gone out, one of our stalwarts of the last three years. Although he didn't play as much the last year of that. Ricci has gone out, and that is it for now. So the squad is starting to take shape. There's a long way to go yet, um, and a lot of places I would like to see improved. Uh, but it's certainly progress. Um, and Vittorini, well, he has major competition for his place now which he didn't have before I think at the moment maybe he does still stay in the team certainly my assistants think so let's have a little look at them very very close isn't it so between he's faster but La, La Mana is better technically and defensively I think they can probably share share the minutes to be honest um, that's certainly something that's very interesting to see um Riella will be stepping out of the team, at least to, to begin with. Uh, Shio is almost certainly on his way out, by the way. Um, so we will have Siriki Sonogo as well as Michelangelo Riella on the bench consistently. Uh, and he will come on, don't get me wrong. Um, and then we'll have to see where we go from there. We've obviously got quite a few places to uh, in this squad to, to fill in still. But I do think that's a good start. Morosini, the decent backup in La Manna, uh, plus Siriki Sonogo, who will provide very good cover amongst five, four different positions in this formation. And there's at least one other uh, position in another formation where we play with a, an attacking midfielder where he could also play. Um, so that gives us options in terms of changing up mid-game as well, which is something that is interesting and useful to have uh, on the bench anyway. So that's a good start. Long way to go. And I'll be back, hopefully, for you to see a bit more of that. Right, and we have Spamba Spampato. Uh, who looks to me like he, he might be the best central defender we've had so far. It does depend a little bit on where in these range he falls, but even if he's sort of towards the bottom end, I think he's probably going to be the best defender we've had. Um, he has done it for Paganese, admittedly, not so much in Serie C before, but he's played for years in Serie C, so he's obviously got the experience of it. Um, and he has played for Chievo, well, not for the first team, obviously, um, but he's played for Chievo's reserves. You would think that he has the kind of experience that means that he should be a decent player and he's not quite as old as some of the players we've had um, in recent years back there. So that's got to be a good thing. Um, and it just means we've got a bit more, de more depth. Worst case scenario, he's going to be at least as good as Stanger. Um, and at the moment, we are very, very short on top class central defenders. Um, we need to at least two. He may be one of them. He may not. But I, I, I can't see him being in anything worse than first choice reserve. We'll see how that goes. Um, so as you can see, we've now got three players already in, two to come in, a full-back and a centre-back. Barbieri, 
could play centre back as well, but I think he probably will play full back. Um, although he's probably going to be on the bench a lot anyway. Um, might be the first player we signed from Juventus, I think. Um, admittedly, not a Juventus uh, product, but um, has been at Juventus for a while, and that's kind of experience that you imagine would be good for the team going forward. So positive signs in the transfer market so far, but a long way to go if we want to make this team title winning. So this is some welcome news. Uh, it looks like we've got a couple of consortiums looking to take us over, which would be very, very impressive. Uh, slightly worrying that they think they want to get a new manager in. But in my experience, that tends to be all talk. No following through. So hopefully I'll be all right in terms of keeping my job. Um, there's obviously a slight risk there, but I mean, God knows what I'll do if that happens, given that the premise of this save is to rebuild a, well, to build a club from the ground up. But it's good news, assuming I keep my job. Right, and here we are on the first day of the season. As you can see, I've still got my job. That was because the um, takeover actually fell through. So we have, um, well, with no, no extra money is the, is the key thing there. Um, we did get a, a bit of a key, an injection from the board itself. So we're a little bit better off than we were, um, but still a long way from being in a financial position where we can be comfortable. I'm obviously just trying to be a bit careful, but the thing is we need to get promoted. So I can't really afford to just say, OK, well, let's not worry about it and just uh, get uh, cheapy, cheapies in. If I get promoted, then I'm gonna, it will be a case of just sort of getting, doing enough to stay in the league and no more. Uh, that's kind of the key thing, I think, at that point, because I want, I want to make sure that I've got um, you know, enough money to keep surviving, basically. Uh, as you can see, I've also got a lot of people in on trial. I've got a few people here who I'm obviously considering. Uh, Bianco, I'm just waiting really to see um, what they look like once sort of my staff has had the chance to really assess them and see how good they are. But there are certainly a couple of players here who look like they're probably going to be coming in, mainly for depth. Um, but I'm also thinking if I can get enough in, there are a few players here who might be able, I might be able to sell on. If, for example, I could find someone who's as good as, if not better than Marino, there's some sell-on value there for Marino. Um, it's not that I don't want him. He's a very good player. He played really well last year. Uh, I think he's one of the better signings I've made in this safe. Um, but mm -hmm. if I could make, say, £100,000 and get a free transfer in who is just as good, if not better, then why not? So we are here on the first day of the season. We're playing Bichedli again, who I'm pretty sure we played the first day of last season, didn't we? We did indeed. And we lost 2-1 with Gioldi getting the only goal. So um, that's certainly something we want to get uh, some revenge for. Uh, is it was the other way as well? Yes, it was. So exactly the same start in exactly the same place. Um, I do think we've got a slightly better team this year. Uh, Bridley Adori coming through, coming into the team last year was, I think, a big step. And then we've got a few other players who've come in this season who I think should improve the side. Uh, it's Ben Bato and Barbieri in particular. Confente, whether he's an improvement, I'm not sure, but he's certainly, I think he probably is an improvement, actually, on the, the keepers we've had uh, in recent times. Um, he's certainly a very good keeper for this level. So this is the team I'm probably going to go with today, I think. Just see if there's a... Castelli is the obvious possibility, but I think I'm going to go with Brigliadori for now. He is pretty suited to that false nine role, which I have had him playing for a little while. Um, so I will keep that for the time being. Paolini is in for Roller, and that's because he's not entirely fit. But I think I am going to play him today. He will probably come off for Paolini at some point, uh, but I'd like, to, I'd like to have Roller playing when I can, so... Uh, Barbieri, I've just noticed, is also injured, but that's fine. We've got Lamana, who is just as good, if not better. Uh, we've got Vitrini as well. Right back is one position where we are very well stocked at the moment. So here we are. First day of the season against Bicet Bichelli. Um, Bianchini still playing for them. Former keeper for us. Is there anyone else? Parkas as well. I remember he, he was playing on the first day of last season too. Um Really try and impress them. I want, I want to make sure we make up for this time last year and have a nice win to start the season. Francesco Rolla picks it up in the first minute of still. And nice statement of intent from him there. Di Marco finds Brigliadori. Pellegrini to Gioldi. Brigliadori finds Rolla and Bianchini saves it. Di Francesco shoots and Confente on debut makes a decent save there. La Mana. Win it back, but we win it back again. I oh, keep giving the ball away stupidly. Became a bit of a pattern last year. It's something we've been very good at actually throughout the whole of this stage so far. But but back end of last year and now today, it's become a little bit of a pattern. And that penalty was kind of coming given that 
And Aras sticks it away. Not a great start. Morosini takes the corner, and we've equalised almost immediately. Spamba Spampato. Spampato. I have to get used to saying that. Spampato. Um, equalises within, what, about a minute? Um, so that's good. So hopefully try and turn this around and be winning before half time would be nice. Brigliadori crosses in. And yes, we are doing that. GLD finds um, the end of DeMarco's ball back to him. Lovely little pullback after a lovely cross, actually. Really dangerous. And that is more like it. Three goals in three minutes. Uh, and we've come from 1-0 down to lead already. Can we make sure we hold on to it this time? No silly mistakes, please. That was a little bit silly, but we are still ahead. Of course, the XG is slightly misleading because they had that penalty. Marino shoots. I thought that had gone in for a minute, but it hasn't. Bianchini takes the frick the goal kick. And Gioldi's almost played through. Stanger comes forward. Finds Brigliadori. Roller shoots. We are this is much more like it. Since they scored, we've been brilliant. Much, much more like it. Di Marco to Morosini. Brigliadori to Roller. Di Marco. Gioldi. Nice passing around here. Di Marco. Crosses into Roller, and he scored so many goals from that position. Kind of almost expect him to score there. Really nice to uh, respond to that that penalty um, so quickly, so emphatically. We're doing very, very well. Let's try and make sure we get the next goal and wrap this game up. Should be a game we win now. GLD crosses in, and Stangers on the end of it, and it's three-one, and that should be that. Hopefully, it's obviously not definitely, but. You would hope we will we'll be okay now. Playing up from the back here. We'll try and build something. That's good. Brigliadori's through. Brigliadori makes it 4-1. And this is starting to look quite emphatic. The second half in particular, we've been really good. To be honest, we've been very good ever since the penalty. Just got those two quick goals. And then after half time, we've just pushed it, out, pushed it on and really done exactly what they are. I asked of them, really pushed on and taken a firm hold of the game. And we've won it. Really quite easily in the end. Let's get Roller off. Get Paolini. Riella off for Morosini. I'm sorry for Morosini. Uh, Gioldi does need to come off though at some point. So let's bring in Sonogo for his debut, I think. In fact, no, I don't think. He definitely is. And Di Marco can make way for Borboni or Nilsson. Borboni. Lovely ball there. DeMarco can get the cross in. Find Sonogo. Nice, nice interplay between the players here. Sonogo. Finds Riella. Riella shoots. Looks dangerous, doesn't he? Put Quattrola on. You can see we're getting more and more youngsters coming through who are maybe not quite good enough, but good enough to kind of come on in games like this where we kind of got it won. Just give our senior players a bit of time to rest their legs. I'm hoping that fitness this year will be less of a problem so that because I can do that better. Let's think about who I'm going to uh, rotate and when and so on. But it was a very nice performance. Obviously, the better we do, the easier that will be. Um, and I do think this is probably, and I've said it before and I say it again that today, I think this is my best team so far. Um, and we have actually got better every single season so far. Um, it's something I'm really keen to make sure we continue. Now, last season was only one point better than the previous one, uh, but it was better. So, we have literally kept up that record, even if it wasn't significantly better. Uh, Spambato, nice debut from him. Uh, a couple of players here that are being recommended. Another central defender, which wouldn't go amiss, but I think he'll be too expensive. And he's 33. I don't really want any more of them. So we will give that one a swerve. But we'll be back tomorrow for... Which game can we come back for? Arza Chen. No idea who they are. Uh, we haven't played them before. It's tempting. I think we'll be back for the Arza Chena game. We might play Juve Stabia as well because they've been quite an important team to play. So we, I might do something unusual and split it a little bit. We'll play Juve Stabia and Arza Chena in the next couple of games. Juve Stabia, a team who we have got a winning record against, but um, hasn't always been the case. I mean, it took us a few times to actually beat them for that first time. They've only beaten us now once in six. So hopefully that's something we can keep up tomorrow. Thanks for watching today. Hopefully uh, tomorrow I can bring you news of a real push towards dominating this league. I don't really want to just win the league this year. I want to dominate the league. But we've been in this league so long now. We've got such a good side now that we ought to be able to dominate it. I'm even thinking maybe we, we, we might be good enough, particularly with one or two additions to 
strengthen the, the depth of this side to possibly even go unbeaten. Big get, big goal. And the main, don't get me wrong, the main goal is just to win the league. If I win the league, I'll be happy. But if I could try and go unbeaten this year, I think that's that would be that would be really good. And I think I've got the possibility this year with some of the quality we've got now to do that. We've got a few more players to get. Hopefully tomorrow I will be able to bring you news of exactly that. See you then. Bye for now.